welcome to the Creative Grove. My name is Ingrid Blackburn and I thought today I would share with you a creative tips video on how I make these unique holly leaves. So to make these holly leaves it's actually rather quite simple. You need a couple pieces of scrap cardstock. Right here I have some always artichoke. This measures two inches and it's rather long. There's no specific measurement that you need. I'm just going for the width here. And this one is two and three quarters wide. And I'm going to use a variety of punches to show you how I do this. Start with a two inch piece. I'm going to use my one inch punch and I'm going to come in here and punch a partial circle. I'm going to now rotate my paper and punch again, giving me that top point of my holly leaf. I'm now going to come in from the side and now the other side. And you can see my leaf is starting to take shape. I'm now going to come in from the bottom, but I want to come in a little further because I want to kind of match that point there. I'm not trying to perfectly make a leaf. Uh, when I find that when you try to do that, it just doesn't really work. <clears throat> I tried really hard the first time around and it was a disaster. And you can see here I'm a little off. That's okay. I'll just come back in. Bring that around. And I actually like that. I don't try to be perfect. I think that it's really difficult to make a random leaf like this completely perfect. And I'm going to actually leave this bottom piece here. I'll show you why in a second. So there's my first leaf. And that was from a two inch piece of cardstock. We got our holly leaf down to about one and one eighth inch. Now let's try with the one and three eighths inch circle punch. I'll do this one more time. I'll go rather quickly here. And you can see this leaf, the point's a little out of control there, so we're going to trim that up. There we go. That's a little better. And let's bring this side in to match a little bit. There we go. And it's okay for it to be narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. That's actually pretty normal for these type of leaves. So here you go. I have my two holly leaves. I punched some one inch circles for the berries and you can see when you layer these how cool that is and you can see why I would want this longer piece because it makes it a little easier to connect to my holly berries when I'm making my paper piecing. To add a little bit of interest here I'm going to take a classic Stampin' Up! pad I'm going to squeeze the middle one of the great features of our Stampin' Up! pads. I have one of my blender pens. Let's just make sure that that's clean. I'm going to pull a little bit of ink here and I'm just going to go ahead and make a center line and that's going to give me a little bit of detail for my leaf. There you go. I'm going to do the same thing to the red with my cherry cobbler. First I'm going to put everything together on my card and here's your final result. Quick, easy, and what's nice about it is you can make holly leaves whatever size you want. Just experiment with all the circle punches that you have and here is another card with some smaller leaves. So I hope you enjoyed that creative tip today. I look forward to seeing you around the Creative Grove, especially in one of our classes. We just released a thanks class, some great projects to express how thankful you are to your friends and family. We have an upcoming Brayer 102 class if you like making creative sceneries, and I have an awesome class using the Festive Flurry Bundle, making some amazing projects. And I look forward to seeing you there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.